you know what, man? I can't even get mad at what you're doing at this point, brother. We all know what you're trying to do. Like I said, it's clicks, it's engagement. We all know that radio is damn near dead. And now everybody from the sports media world wants to, they want to jump into YouTube. They want to jump into the YouTube space. It's crazy as all hell. And I'm, like I said, 104.5, they've been around for a while. So it's not just, I'm not talking directly to Matt and I'm not talking directly to their radio station that talked the amount of shit about high school kids shaming high school kids and shaming our, our program for recruiting those kids and which by the way they still haven't even apologized for giving for for pretty much you know speaking you know pretty much talking about a kid being a three star when it was simply the wrong when they were given the wrong information i would which i don't even know if matt made that up or if somebody else just gave them the wrong information it is what it is but listen it was for the most part, I've been around since 2019. Like I said, I, I've been making videos here and there. I haven't been on consistently and stuff like that, but I've been around for a while. My boy Ty Hayes from Around the Table Sports, he's been around for a while, right? Other small content creators, you know, that are, they're, you know, they're, again, they're big in the college football space. They're not big, you know, in the really sports realm. Like guys like Uncle Lou, he's been around for a while. Shout out to Law Ty. Law Ty, one of the original Bama guys that's been on YouTube, that's been on YouTube you know, he's been around for a while, you know, it's, you know, Pigskin Pete, all these dudes, right? All these, all the small content creators, we've been around for a while. But it's funny as all hell now that every single sports media personality, every single, everybody wants to own a goddamn podcast. Everybody wants to jump a podcast from these big networks, including uh, with ESPN 104.5 when they made their own YouTube channel. And like I said, those guys are fun, right? Some of those guys are really, really good guys, great radio personalities. You can see why they're why they're professionals and why they're on the space and why they can draw in a certain audience. Hell, I'm talking about them right now, right? Matt has been a Bama hater for years. That's why, in a way, I should never. I was planning on never making a video about it, but it is. But we're here now. You know, I've been watching Matt for a little while. The dude hates Alabama. It is clear as day. And when you take a look at his podcast, where especially when he loves to go on a similar rants like I like to go on rants about certain teams, his one school that he continues to rant on is Alabama, because that's LSU's main rival. Even though it's not, it's not, it's not Alabama's main rival. Our main rivals are Auburn and Tennessee. But yet LSU always has to be in the equation, right? For their perspective, we have to be in there. We always have to be that us. We always get the attention. Every single shot that they can have, that they can throw at, and it's not just him, it's T-Bob, it's all those dudes. Every single chance they get to, to throw a shot at Alabama, they will take that. They will they will make sure to line up those goddamn iron sights in order for us to get killed, in order for us to get hit. They will, they will do whatever it takes to bury Alabama when the opportunity presents itself. And unfortunately, and even if it's at the cost of using high school kids, 16, 17 year old teenagers to do it, they will do it. You know what I'm saying? So this is why, so I still stand by my stand. I still stand by when I say that these, that some of these people just don't have no morals. You know, again, if you're, if you're willing to use 16, 17 year old kids to take shots at the University of Alabama, then you do what you need to do. That just, again, that shows you character. That shows that you guys have no moral high ground and you, and you guys will do whatever it takes to bury Alabama when you have that opportunity, when you have that chance. And you, and you know what's funny? Have you noticed that none of us, none of the big Bama content creators or small Bama content creators, have you noticed that we have never talked about LSU? We never talk about LSU. In, in, in LSU. The only time we talk about LSU is when either when I'm doing it, when I'm previewing them, or... Or we talk about them a week or two before we play them. And normally when we play them, there's always a bye week in between. Not, I don't think it's going to happen this year. But we we talk about them when they're the next game, when they're, when they're the next opponent up. We never, ever talk about them during the preseason. We talk about Georgia. We talk about Auburn. You know, for the most, I mean, I mean, and, and I'm just saying we barely even talk about those programs. Because we're so because we're worried about ourselves. We're talking about recruiting. We're talking about our coaching staff. We're previewing our running back room, our quarterback room, our receiving room, defensive our, our defensive room, our coaching staff. There's a lot of other stuff that we continue to preview besides just talking about LSU or some other opponents. Like, yeah, we'll talk about some teams here and there. We never talk about LSU. They're the ones always talking about us and taking shots whenever the chance, whenever the chance, you know, may, may assume. And again, it's not just Matt Muscona. It's not just ESPN 
it's it's other LSU content creators or other people from the social media space as well. And we always tend to kind of ignore them. So it is what it is, guys. I mean, like I said, I'm not even surprised about Matt's response. Again, he did admit that he was wrong, but of course he always had to make a smart ass comment. At the, I even I'm not even mad at it. I laughed at it. And uh, like I said, he's 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 trying to he's trying to create an engagement. He's smart, trust me, smart guy, uh, very very marketable uh, sort of person. Everyone's trying to fire back at it. It is what it is. Um, if that's the if that's the route you want to take by just shaming Alabama using kids, then you do what you need to do, brother. But um, over here, we're gonna be we're, over here, guys. We're gonna be worried about our team about and, and talk about what we need to do in order for us to win a national championship. I will talk about you guys and I'll talk about you good and, I, and I'll talk about you guys from an objective standpoint because every single LSU video I've ever talked about LSU has always been objective. Matter of fact, I've actually praised LSU a lot more times compared to bashing them. If not, I rarely kind of bash them, but that's just how Bama fans are. We always kind of take the moral high ground and we are and we try to be as objective as possible when it comes to our analysis, unlike the LSU Tigers and your media.